हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन सब्जेक्ट्स एंड टुडे विल रिमूव ऑल योर डाउट एंड कंफ्यूजन इन फिजिक्स बाय दिस लर्निंग वीडियो वेयर वी विल डील वन प्रोबेबल बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन पैटर्न इफेक्टिव ई ऑफ टू सेल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट ई एंड आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल इफ यू वॉन्ट दिवोट next 5 minutes on this video and found such pattern in your examination then won't say i left behind fir na kehna reh gaya our board examination question is like this derive expression of effective emf when two cells of different emf are connected in parallel so here we are given two cells of different emf e1 and e2 where e1 is greater than e2 and they have respectively internal resistance first cell got internal resistance r1 and second cell got internal resistance r2 and two cells of different nature are connected in parallel and we know in parallel they should have the same terminal voltage so for this particular combination we have to find out effective emf of this parallel connected cell combination we know that emf of a cell or a combination of cells is defined as that terminal voltage which is obtained when the cell or cell combination is in open circuited condition that means cell combination is not supplying any current to external circuit and in that condition the terminal voltage between a and b in open circuit condition is emf of this cell combination but in this cell combination since the emf of two cell e1 and e2 are not the same and there is a local loop formation so even when this parallel cell combination is in open circuited there is a local loop forming series circuit of two cells and in that local loop effective emf is e1 minus e2 and total series resistance is r1 plus r2 so the current in local loop is given by this expression so the equivalent emf of these two cell combination connected in parallel is obtained as potential difference across terminal a and b when this parallel combination of two cell is not supplying any current to external circuit but due to difference in emf of two cells there exist a local loop current circulation i and in that condition we can find out potential difference across terminal a and b by a travel from one terminal to another terminal along the circuit and on the way we have to calculate voltage rise and drop and the net calculation of voltage rise and voltage drop from terminal b to terminal a would become our potential difference across terminal a and b so here when we travel and move across r1 resistance we are moving along current current moves from high to low so we are also moving from high potential to low potential so there is a voltage drop v is equal to i r or in internal resistance r1 with current i there is a voltage drop of i r1 and across battery we move from low potential to high potential terminal and there is a voltage rise of e1 magnitude and net rise effect is e1 minus i r1 and this is our voltage across terminal a and b when the cell combination is in open circuit condition and this vab in this open circuit condition is effective emf of this cell configuration so in open circuit condition of these two parallel connected cells when we travel from b to a along circuit path there is a voltage drop of i r1 and there is a rise of e1 and net rise is vab and this is our effective emf of this parallel connected cell combination now here in this local loop net emf is e1 minus e2 and total series resistance is r1 plus r2 so the current is given by ratio of e1 minus e2 to r1 plus r2 resistance sum and when we substitute the value of current in this expression our effective emf or open circuited terminal voltage across ab is e1 minus i r1 and when we'll take lcm r1 plus r2 e1 r1 positive and this negative e1 r1 will get cancel out and effectively it is e1 r2 and this minus multiplied by this minus become plus and it is e2 r1 and we can remember this as this emf multiplied by resistance of second and second emf multiplied by internal resistance of first in numerator and the sum of two internal resistance in denominator would be 
equivalent emf of this combination on similar pattern we can also solve numerical problem first we have to find out current in local loop and then difference of rise of emf and drop of internal resistance will give us effective emf of parallel connected cells of two different emf we hope this small informative learning video has solved one of your board examination problem and removed all your doubt and confusions our other learning video of same confused in physics series are equally valuable and you can use them in your studies or even share them to your friends for notes of this problem and other important problem just check a link given in description happy learning have nice time thank you very much